Hi there, this is Colton with North Island Nissan. I wanted to make you a quick walk around video on our 2011 Mazda Tribute. Uh, it's a really nice vehicle. It came in on trade in very good condition. Uh, it's got decent kilometers on it and there's a few points around it that I'll show you, like the tires, for example. Uh, it's got very nice tires on it. I believe they're, I'm not sure if they're quite 10 ply. They might be just below that. But you can see they've got the extra tread along the side here if you're doing any uh, gravel road driving and they look almost brand new too. There's lots and lots of life left on those tread, uh, which is nice. A little bit of corrosion on the rims, but not too bad for being a, a nine-year-old vehicle. Outside's in pretty good condition. There are a couple of dents around it. Looks like somebody hit that with their door. You can see those white lines on it. Darn parking lots. Uh, this is one of the more fully loaded models as well, so it does have that nice leather interior to it, uh, along with heated seats, cruise control, air conditioning, and all of your must-have features like power locks, windows, and mirrors. Uh, yeah. Intermittent windshield wipers. There's a couple others. I'll go around to the driver's side show you some more features Give me a shot of the back. It does have the rubber floor mats in there as well. It's always a nice bonus A little bit of rust near the handle of the hatch there Oh, hit the unlock Oh, I can open up the glass. And we're back. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, my phone, I think, ran out of memory, so I just deleted some pictures and a couple of videos, but we are back. There's the back of it. There's a spare tire back there. Give you a shot of that. There's another uh, little rust spot here. This is common on this model of vehicles for some reason. I'm not sure if it's rocks kicking up or what causes that to happen. There is a small dent beside the driver handle right there. You may or may not be able to see that on the video. And then going into the interior, again, we have power locks, windows, and the mirror controls are just up to the, the uh, right of the inside mirror there. Uh, it is a power driver seat switch, which is nice, but it does use a manual lever to recline the back of it. Got our light controls just to the left of the steering wheel. And then on the steering wheel itself, there are there's the cruise control on the left-hand side and volume controls on the right-hand side. Uh, this vehicle does have 184,066 kilometers on it, I believe. Ooh, foot on the brake. Start it up. Uh, nice clean dash. You have your time up top there, which is blinking because it's on the camera, as well as your exterior uh, temperature controls. Uh, sorry, not exterior temperature controls, just exterior temperature. Uh, below that, radio controls, the rest of the dash, temperature controls are below that, heated seats, air conditioning, couple plug-ins, and a spot to either put your phone or keep some stuff there. Uh, gear shifters, pretty standard, reverse neutral drive and low gear. Cup holders, and then in your center console, couple change holders there, which just can't be handy. Keeps it a little bit more organized. Uh, and then up top, we do have a sunroof. So it's a power, I guess it would be a moonroof as well, because it does actually open up, so it's not just stationary. Uh, so if I missed anything in this video that you do want to see, just let me know, and I can either put another video together for you or snap a few pictures as well. But I hope you enjoyed this one, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.